I'm here today to hopefully give you some practical ideas and projects that uh, you can do to incorporate music into your home during this season. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the things that take minimal effort. Instruments you already have at home that maybe you don't even realize. And you need to go no further than your spice rack. Your spice rack is perfect for shakers. So you can just pull these out and have your little ones shaking along to music and making, um, making music. You can have them um, maybe get like a quiet one like this one and a louder one to give them that difference in sound. That's pretty cool. If your child is in that development stage where they're organizing and sorting, a great kind of learning objective you could do here is have them organize your spices or maybe like six or so into loud and quiet. So have them listen. Okay, which one's louder? You know, this one. And then they put it kind of like in a bucket or something. That takes up a lot of time, which is great if you need to get something done, <laughs> but it's also a great way to keep their mind engaged and that Auditory processing is so key in child development. So think about that, just having them listen to your spices. How easy is that? Another thing you already have at home are rhythm sticks. So any wooden utensil or rubber. So rubber spatulas, anything like that. They just make a nice sound. And again, like the shakers, not too loud. So easy to play with music. This is so fun. Just turn on some music and just play along with them. You know, get different rhythms. For your older kids, especially ones with siblings, this is a great sibling project. Have them assign them like a blue man group, you know, like tight project. Like, hey, I want you to go away for an hour. I want you to work together and come up with some type of rhythm performance. Okay, so they can be tapping, you know, on, you know, or tapping together or on the floor or something. Send them away, have them work on a project and then have them do like a big performance at the end of the night or something like that. So that's also a great way to get siblings connected, to get music connected. Um, yeah, and just get the creativity flowing for your kids. Um, if So that's the stuff you already have at home. If you're looking for more of a project, you can make your own shakers. So if you have leftover Easter eggs, this is perfect. All you have to do is fill it up with, you know, a little bit of rice or beans or, or an expired spice as you're going through your spice rack. Um, just close it, tape it up, you have a shaker. You can also have the kids be a little bit more involved. Uh, I have a Pringles can left over. Obviously I ate all these. So I would fill it up with rice or beans, tape the top, and then you have your own shaker. Now, if you are healthy and don't eat Pringles, that's okay. You can use um, a toilet paper roll. So leftover toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls. Have your kids decorate them, like color them, put stickers on them, totally make them their own. Tape one side with like, um, like masking tape or packing tape, fill it up. Um, I probably about half, I wouldn't go maybe, I would do maybe a third, maybe a third of the way or even half, don't fill it too full. Tape the top of it and then they have their own, very own shaker. And also interesting, the ones that are shorter are gonna sound different than the ones that are taller. So maybe you can do one of each and talk about the sound differences. Okay, my last tip is for the older kids. This is a great thing to do if you need to bring the energy level of your home back down. Turn on some classical music, put out paper, and have them color with markers, crayons, whatever. Have them kind of just draw how they're interpreting the music. This is a great way for music to maybe give voice to their emotions or maybe the verbal language isn't there right now. Or you know, it's just, it's a crazy time for all of us. So maybe there's just things that they don't know how to verbally process, but put it to paper, have them draw while they're listening to the music. You can turn on some classical music. I'd be happy to give you suggestions. Um, and then talk about it afterwards. After the music is over, talk about like, oh, like how did that music make you feel? Like, oh, like what is that shape about? Like, what is that feeling? You know, and it's just a great connecting point um, as a family too. You can totally, I do this for myself a lot too. So you can totally do this with them. And it's a really nice, relaxing way uh, to, yeah, to emotionally express. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, I would love to answer them and happy quarantine.